Let's figure out which one of these fractions is bigger, 1 half or 5 sixteenths. So what you could do is you could just divide 1 by 2 in a calculator, get a decimal, then divide 5 by 16 and get a decimal, and you'll see that 1 half, that's the larger decimal. So the fraction 1 half is larger than 5 sixteenths. The other way to do it is to find a common denominator, something that 2 and 16 go into evenly. Because if we can get the denominators here to be the same, we just compare the numerators to figure out which fraction is larger. So 2 times 8, that would equal 16 here. So I'd have 16 in both denominators. But I can't just multiply the denominator here by 2. I have to multiply the numerator as well. 1 times 8, that's 8. And 8 sixteenths, that's the same value as 1 half. So now we have 8 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths. We don't really need to do anything because we already have 16 in the denominator. So we're going to compare the numerators. The denominators, they're the same. When we compare the numerators, 8's larger than 5. So 8 sixteenths, that's larger than 5 sixteenths. And since 8 sixteenths and 1 half are the same, 1 half, that's larger than 5 sixteenths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.